Hey all, welcome to the channel, I'm Pierre and this is Simple Home Brew. Today I'd like to introduce you to the third video of the series, um, The Crush and Mill. Uh, the guys over there did a walk and talk video through their brew shed and my god, what a setup they've got. They've got, um, there's some things in there I'd like to do, like an extraction fan. You'll see it in this video. Uh, the audio is not awesome, I've tried to clean it up a little bit but it hasn't worked out that way. But it's really really good so guys um, check this video out and I'll have a chat to you at the end we're gonna take you on the final tour of the shed build crushing mill obviously we all see the outside so which all been waiting for let's get on the inside by the way it's about 95 degrees today in July here in New England and it is hot and humid but in here with the AC, I have that set to 62 degrees. We have wine in these tanks. There's a Petit Syrah we've made and also a Merlot, about 50 gallons of Merlot, 20 gallons of the Petit. These tanks are full. You can go there and see this. This is a variable capacity tank, which the, the lid just floats on top of the line, so no air gets to it, which is good. So this light, I had that wired on a switch, so that's nice, along with that, along with that light. Um, outside light, these are on a dimmer, boom, bright. I like to keep them a little dim. How's that for the video purposes? More? Uh, that. Yep. And then this, remember to look. The plug up there, which I haven't put a light up there yet, or the wedge, but I'll get to that. But I also put in this fan. You can't really see it because I blend it in with the ceiling up here. And that's for when we're smoking our cigars, cigars and pipes. That that's, uh, that keeps the temperature, so it's been hovering, you know, coming in and out between 62 and 64, which is nice. These chairs, believe it or not. Facebook Marketplace, this one was free. They decline. Same thing with these. These for the pair, I paid like 25 bucks. And they just decline. So nice to get. So we'll move along here. Obviously the shelving unit with all my equipment and supplies. These drawers will pretty much what I need. I got some supplies for some rum I'm gonna make. Some whiskey. <laughs> this is the still. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. That's our still. These are the cabinets I was working on. More supplies, some snacks. Down here, it's pretty cool. You can, I'll get out the way so you can see, but I just leave this open. Put in an RO system for the beer. Okay. Nice, so that's off of this faucet. That's all our old water. Hot and cold water here. A little curate for when I want some coffee. Maybe a little wine. More supplies. More supplies. This is my beer making baby right here. Brew tubes, B40. It's a little, a little pricey, but I love it. All the attachments are all tri-clamp attachments. Same thing with the uh, chiller. Chiller's back, back here. You can see that. I know I got hoses and stuff, but all this just hooks up with tri-clamps uh, tri and faucet here. Turn that on, show the bear. It's a nice machine right there. So I built that shelf a little lower because you know, try to keep this level. This I just use for uh, sparge water. A mini fridge. Stock with some stuff. TV. Alright. This is the, uh, the fermenter. More beer fermenter. Conical fermenter, it's got that healthier cooling, whatever. This is our uh, 
free bottle bottle, I should call it. Where we pump, uh, we use the uh, pump, pump, the wine comes through these hoses into here. One bottle, two bottle, three bottle. And then I have a floor corker. Pump, pump, pump. It's a regular production line. The pump for when we're racking the wines on a switch. Do it or decorate it for me. <laughs> I, remember, I, I remember I painted this brown, but I changed it to black. I like black better because I painted I, when I did this chest freezer, which I have a video on. Uh, let me put that on another day. But this is the, obviously a four tap, but this four tap being a um, nitro tap. Ooh, perfect. So right now I just have some hard cider, which we made, I made back in November. And then there's the nitro tank and a CO2 tank. And my Guinness, well, it's a stout, it's an Irish stout clone, came out really good. My wine press. So I, what? I mean, for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. See ya. So I'd like to thank these guys for letting me use their video on my channel. Um, if you guys want to support them, click the link below, tell them hello, say hello and tell them how much you like it and uh, give me a bit of support. You know, we these guys have done these videos and let me put them on my channel just for you guys to learn from and it's just really great of them to do it and I really appreciate it. Uh, I love the milk, love the shed that they've got out there. It looked like a really hot day. This is in 2022, this, this actual video was made. And uh, we missed out on that kind of heat this year in our, our, our part of the world. Normally we have that kind of heat. Uh, but, you know, it's great. It's a really good, relaxing little shed, a little place to get down and brew some beers and make some wine. And these guys make some great wine, by what I can tell. And uh, really, really decent video. Cheers, guys. Thank you to the Crusher Mill for letting us use these videos. And thank you to you guys for watching these videos and supporting the channel, our channel, this channel, and their channel. And uh, really would love to see you give him a big thumbs up on his channel and mine, if you can. And uh, really appreciate you watching. Cheers, guys.